In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, let my prayer come into your presence. Incline your ear to my cry for help, O Lord. The grace of our God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you all. Morning, my dear friends. Is it lovely to be together, and it is warm and um, joyful because we are making a new Christian. We are baptizing somebody into our family. Many of you will already be aware, but our dear friend Andy, who we baptized not that long ago, sadly died this week. Um, Andy was the gentleman who used to sit at the back, my kind of shape, and he died of a heart attack this week. And um, it's it shocked all of us. And so it's fitting that we remember him today, that we pray for his soul today, that we give thanks for his life and his mission among us as we baptize another Christian in God's name. Because Andy was baptized. Andy was brought before God his Father. And so now in death, he reaches out for Jesus' hand. And Jesus reaches back for his. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our own sins and transgressions. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie, Kyrie, Eleison. You came to call sinners. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us sing in praise and glory and worship God our Father. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. 
Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously creep, keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Please sit. A reading from the first book of the Kings. Elijah the prophet went off to Sidon, and when he reached the city gate, there was a widow gathering sticks. Addressing her, he said, Please bring a little water in a vessel for me to drink. She was setting off to bring it when he called after her. Please, he said, bring me a scrap of bread in your hand. As the Lord your God lives, she replied. I have baked no bread, but only a handful of meal in a jar and a little oil in a jug. I am just gathering a stick or two to go and prepare this for myself and my son to eat, and then we shall die. But Elijah said to her, Do not be afraid. Go and do as you have said, but first make a little scone of it for me and bring it to me and then make some for yourself and for your son. For thus the Lord speaks, the God of Israel. Jar of meal shall not be spent, jug of oil shall not be emptied before the day when the Lord sends rain on the face of the earth. The woman went and did as Elijah told her, and they ate the food, she, himself, and her son. The jar of meal was not spent, nor the jug of oil emptied, just as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. The response in the psalm. My soul, give praise to the Lord. My soul, give praise to the Lord. It is the Lord who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. My soul give praise to the Lord. It is the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down. It is the Lord who loves the just, the Lord who protects the stranger. My soul give praise to the Lord. The Lord upholds the widow and orphan, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God, from age to age. My soul give praise to the Lord. The second reading, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. It is not as though Christ has entered a man-made sanctuary 
which was only modelled on the real one, but it was heaven itself, so that he could appear in the actual presence of God on our behalf, and he does not have to offer himself again and again, like the high priest going into the sanctuary year after year with the blood that is not his own, or else he would have to offer, sorry, would have to suffer over and over again since the world began. Instead of that, he has made his, pres- made his appearance once and for all. Now at the end of the last age, to do away with sin by sacrificing himself. Since men only die once, and after that comes judgment, so Christ, too, offers himself only once to take the faults of many on himself. And when he appears a second time, it will not be to deal with sin, but to reward with salvation those who are waiting for him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. to die says the Lord keep faithful and I will give you the crown of life Alleluia 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 The Lord be with you A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark Glory to you O Lord In his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to walk about in long robes to be greeted obsequiously in the market squares, to take the front seats in the synagogues and in the places of honour at banquets. These are the men who swallow the property of widows while making a show of lengthy praise. While making a show of lengthy praise, the more severe will be the sentence they receive. He sat down opposite the treasury and watched the people putting money into the treasury. And many of the rich put in a great deal. A poor widow came and put in two small coins, the equivalent of a penny. Then he called out to the disciples and said, I tell you solemnly, this poor widow has put more in than all who have contributed to the treasury. For they have all put in money and they had over. But she, the, but she, from the little she had, has put in everything she possessed, all that she had to live on. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please sit. Our gospel today talks of money, but it's not really about money. Like so many of Jesus' teachings, 
On the surface, he says one thing, but the meaning is a great deal deeper. And that's very much the case here. Jesus, when pointing to the scribes, when pointing to the rich men who were putting their money in the basket, and to the widow, isn't talking about money. It's not some sort of church fundraising campaign that he's going on about. It's not an excuse for me to stand here and say, you should give all that you have. No. It's talking about the treasury that you store in heaven. And it's the same word there in the scripture when Jesus was looking at the treasury. And that's how Jesus looks at each and one of us. He looks at each one of us as a treasury. And what we store up to give him. I've been really rocked by the news of Andy this week. I find it incredibly difficult. And I've been trying to understand why I find his death so difficult. And it's because, in many ways, Andy instinctively understood how to be a good Christian. He wasn't a good man. He did a lot of bad things in his life. But during lockdown, he saw this place open... And he came in and he sat quietly at the back of church during morning and evening prayer and during daily mass. And over a period of weeks, he asked questions about Jesus. He asked questions about the readings. He listened to the sermons. He asked for a Bible and we read it together. And slowly he started to see the good news of Jesus in his life. And he started to see that what was in him, all the good that was in him, belonged to Jesus. And that his only course of action was to give all of that to Jesus. Not a bit of it, not to come, you know, once every few weeks and to give a bit of himself, but to give all of himself to Jesus. Like the widow in our gospel, to give all of who he was to Jesus. He didn't come to church and show off his faith. He came to church because he understood that Jesus was working in his life. And he gave all of who he was because he understood that Jesus working in his life. And so I say to you, how can we do any less? When many of us come from much better backgrounds, when many of us don't have the difficulties that Andy carried with him. So my example of the gospel is lived out here in Hayes, in this church, in this place. And so I ask you to pray for Andy this week, to pray for his soul, that the gifts that he handed over to Jesus in the time since he was baptized mean that Jesus' hand is reaching out and claiming him for heaven. And I ask you to think about what it is that you give to God. What is it of yourself that you give to God? Is it all of you? Or is it just a little bit that you keep reserved Today, we baptize Veggie. Another man who has come to know God, has come to know him in this place and has offered his service, not in a showy way, not, not up front, but by traveling across London every week to help with a parent and toddler group, to clean, to do the things that are not unseen. Here again, in this place, the Holy Spirit is at work in the life of our people. And so as sad as I am about Andy, as upset as I am about his death, I can be nothing but joyous at the work of the Holy Spirit in this place and of baptizing somebody who is giving their life to God today. 
And so when we cheer for Veggie, when we baptize him, I know it will come from your hearts, and I know that you will pray for him, that he will build up his treasury in heaven, that Veggie will understand the work of Jesus in his life, and that Veggie will know that he doesn't do it on his own, but does it as part of our family. Because when you are a family, when you are a family of God, you can't be anything other than the widow in the gospel. Because the Holy Spirit will get inside you and the Holy Spirit will take your heart and will have it all. God loves you completely and utterly and totally and awesomely and all he asks in return is that you believe in him and pour that love out into the world today so yes we are sad but we are joyous because we see the work of God in the world Amen And so, my brothers and sisters, let us welcome our dear friend into our family here in Hayes and into Christ's family in the world. Veggie, come on up. Come here, my friend. I have no doubt that you all know the enthusiasm with which I expect you to reply to these promises. Benji, do you wish to be baptised? Are you ready with your own mouth and from your own heart to affirm your faith in Jesus Christ? Faith is the gift of God to his people. In baptism, the Lord is adding to our number those whom he is calling. People of God, will you welcome this candidate and uphold him in his life in Christ? In baptism, God calls us out of darkness into his marvelous light. To follow Christ means dying to sin and rising to new life with him. Therefore, I ask, Veggie, do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? I reject that. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? I that. Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbor? I that. Do you turn to Christ as Savior? I can't do you submit to Christ as Lord? I do you come to Christ the way, the truth, and the life. Virgin, Christ claims you for his own. Receive the sign of the cross. We're going to make our way to the font proceeded as in everything with the light of Christ and with the cross. We're at the top of page two, and this promise is so important, so don't say it quietly. Do not be ashamed to confess the faith of Christ crucified. 
fight valiantly as a disciple of Christ against sin, the world, and the devil, and remain faithful to Christ to the end of your life. May Almighty God deliver you from the powers of darkness, restore you in the image of his glory, and lead you in the light and obedience of Christ. Praise God, who made heaven and earth. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water to sustain, refresh, and cleanse all life. Over water, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through water, you led the children of Israel from slavery in Egypt to freedom in the Promised Land. In water, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us from death of sin and to newness of life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we baptize into his fellowship those who come to him in faith. Now sanctify this water, that by the power of your Holy Spirit, they may be cleansed from sin and born again. Renew in your image that they may walk in the light of your faith and continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I ask you to profess together with this candidate the faith of the church. Do you believe and trust in God the Father? Do you believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ? <laughs> Suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe and trust in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit. Church. The communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Benji, is this your faith? This is my faith. Benji Nadu, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> I got you good. <laughs> Thank you. May God, who has received you by baptism into his church, pour upon you the riches of his grace, that within the company of Christ's pilgrim people, you may daily be renewed by his anointing spirit and come to the inheritance of the saints in glory. Amen. I'm going to ask David, our ordinand, to read this prayer. A good bit of practice for you, David. Come here. You haven't got your glasses. Can you see that? No, I have sprung no, it on you. All right, we'll do it I together. We'll do it together. Almighty God, we thank you for your fellowship in the household of faith. With all who have been baptized into your name, keep us faithful to our baptism and so make us ready for that day when the whole creation shall be made perfect in your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. It's good practice. <laughs> Members of the St. Anselm family, baptised children of God, welcome our newest member. Welcome, everybody.
And so, my brothers and sisters, with that joy fresh in our heart, with the newest member of our family here, let us hold ourselves before God, our Almighty Father, in prayer. Gracious Lord, pour down your Holy Spirit on this place. Allow us to see its work, that we may follow along behind it and proclaim your Son's name. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray for your body here on earth, your church, and we sing in exultant praise in increasing to its number. We pray for our leaders, for Pope Francis, for Bartholomew the Ecumenical Patriarch, and for Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury. We pray for Sarah, Bishop of London, and for our Bishop, Jonathan. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the body of Christ who does not serve to show off, who do not serve to become members in order to be prominent, but to offer themselves in sacrifice and service in your name. Give us the wisdom and courage and strength to follow in that servant-hearted life. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the sick and lonely, for the bereaved and those in any sort of pain. We name before you Yolanda de Gale and Sister Angela, Helen Holman, Beryl Higgs, Norma Piggott, Renee Holman, June Borton, Verity Thompson, Daniel Sibley, Wayne Campbell, Ivor, Maxine and Megan, Gary Savile, Anthony and Greta, David Millard, Caroline, Debbie Potts, H and her family, Hugh and Val Jones, Sam and Jenny, Pauline Wheeler, Simone, Helen and Nick. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the souls of those who have died this night without access to priest or sacrament. We pray for those who have died around the world proclaiming your holy name. We pray for those torn from the womb. We hold before you the soul of Anthony, of Andy, of our dear friend Andy. And for those whose anniversary of death falls this week, for Gwyneth Jane Sinfield, for George Hall, for Mabel De Silva, Iris Ellis Roderick, Tyrone Greenridge, for Gloria James and Leonard Venner. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord. We pray for our nation and the world, for Her Majesty the Queen and for all in authority under her, that we are quietly and godly governed. Lord, in your mercy. And we turn to Our Lady with arms outstretched in joy and in pain, and we ask her to pray for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we'll sing our offertory hymn, but as Anthony wasn't here at the start, I need to tell Anthony that we're actually going to sing Lord of Beauty, Thine the Splendour. I had to swap the hymn songs because I didn't have the music, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Anthony will now scramble and get the right hymn. We sing together, Lord of Beauty, Thine the Splendour, shown in earth and sky and sea. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Thank you, sir. and wash away my iniquities. Amen. Thank you. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks for the offerings of your people, given with hope and love and with the entirety of their soul. No part held back, but all of themselves offered in your love. We give thanks for the gifts of money, for those who have given through the parish giving scheme, for these gifts here given today, that this place may be open, so that people like Andy may be called to your name. Bless all of our offerings to our use and us to your service. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look with favour, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honour it with loving devotion through Christ your Son. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world, and have arranged the changing of the times and seasons. You formed man into your own image, and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you in your mighty works, through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord 
God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, after supper, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Justin, our Archbishop, Jonathan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Andy, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you, brothers and sisters. Lamb of God, see on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who comes to take away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe in eternal life. Amen. May the blood of Christ keep me safe in eternal life. Amen. To all of our friends watching online, joining us around the world, now is the time to make your spiritual communion, to turn to Jesus, to ask him to nourish you in your heart that you may be made more capable of offering yourself wholly to him in his service. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me.
Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Spirit the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please sit. Got a good recession hymn. I'll just point that out now. Guide me, O thou great Redeemer. But after making me a channel of your peace, I think I may have a new faith. I forget how beautiful that hymn is. I'm not surprised. Okay, so notices this week. Um, at the back of church, you'll see some new posters. And these leaflets are for our Advent and Christmas carol service on the 5th of December at 3 p.m. And... Um, what I've done is, because I, I did leaflets like this before, and we didn't really send them out. So what I've done is I've made them a personal invitation. And so these little flyers say, you are warmly invited to the St. Anselm Advent and Christmas Carol Service. And so what I would really like each of you to do is to take five of these as you leave today and give them to five people that you know and invite them to the carol service on the 5th of December at 3 o'clock. And we'll have mince pies and treats and it'll be a really jolly afternoon. So do take five of these on your way out. And if you know somewhere you can put up a poster, take one of the posters as well. But please, take five of these invitations with you and hand them out. There's enough there for you to take. Rehearsals for that start next Sunday, in fact, on the 14th of November. If you would like to be part of the choir that helps lead that singing on the, fourth, on, the, um, on, the, on the 5th of December, then start next week. It'll be straight after Mass. And actually, next week, next Sunday, is going to be a really busy Sunday because not only do we have the choir rehearsal, but the following week we have the Christmas lights being turned on here in Hayes, in this church. So the Christmas lights for Hayes Town are turned on in this church. The mayor is coming on the 17th. And uh, he'll be turning it on at a huge Christmas tree at the back. And we'll be advertising our carol concert as well. And so next Sunday, I want to do a bit of a spring clean. So that when, uh, when everybody comes for the Christmas lights turn on, when all of those children and all of their parents come, I would like the church to be tip-top so that people feel like they'll, they'll be welcome here. And it's, it's, it's a place that is looked after and cared for. So please think about that next week. Um, this week is one of those weeks where the diocese takes me off for training. I should have had a year ago, <laughs> but I have to go away. So services this week are a little limited. But evening prayer and rosary with Susan on Wednesday night and morning prayer with Susan on Thursday morning. So do make an effort to come and support her. Are there any other notices? And please stand and receive God's blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, come down on you today and remain with you always. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Now before we leave for the Angelus, we have one last thing to give to Veggie, and that is his lit candle. So Veggie, come on up. Light this candle on this day every year to remember your baptismal vows. And as a reminder of God's life in your life. In your life. Veggie, we light this candle as a reminder of God's love in the world, of his brightness in the dark. Receive it now as a sign of your baptism. Bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Keep it lit. We'll sing the Angelus with it.
The angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary. And she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was, and the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his passion and cross, may we be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.